Okay, here we go. Uh, hey everyone, this is Holden, her eyes are weird, and I'm going to shift gears for a little bit based off an earlier comment I had seen, and I'm just going to try something out a little bit other than this standalone mission, which seems to take up a couple hours to do. I'm actually going to go for the campaign, or at least do a mission of the campaign, stuck this out. I have seen part of a guy that was released with the copy of Max I got. Uh, it's an online copy. So it's destroy the target ecospheres, which I believe there are two, and you have to do it in 30 turns. So this one won't take too long, anyway. And there is some campaign text. There's a storyline to this game. A little bit. So I mean, we'll probably just read over what the text shows anyway. Uh, normal settings here. Expert difficulty. I don't, I feel like if, if once I do all the standalone missions and stuff regularly, I might just go do it on God difficulty. It's a little like a challenge, because, uh, it sounds so hard. Alright, here we go. I just think it's sort of ironic because I've read the Crimson Path and Von Griffin backgrounds and Also not a nice, not a bad cut of cutscene. The water actually looks pretty good in that. For a game that was what, 96? But I'm assuming our submarines did that. Or was another one because we haven't fired any ammo. But we have this little point right here. A good number of anti-aircraft guns. Let's start this up. This really won't matter. I don't have any, I mean... I do have a supply truck and a repair unit. That I can... Uh, put in here. So I could use an air transport for... Supplies. But... Well, let me actually turn it down. It's a bit loud. I don't know why this one's even here, but... I'm assuming these are here because of they might have ground attack planes. I'm going to assume. So it's eight speed. That is great. Okay. Like in this. Looks like lots of speed upgrades. Fighters haven't been touched, but those have. Alright, so it's mostly a lot of speed. So let's rank some in. So I know part of what you did, I just know I'm going to have to do is disable anti-air guns. 
and maybe gun turrets. They probably have gun turrets over there, actually. And then use the ground attack planes to come in and shoot the AA guns. Because the scouts... Yeah, it's going to take a lot of shots and they're going to die before another unit or something shows up. Because I think they're over... Not right here, I think they're over here. And as far as I know, they don't have a training hall. So they can't detect me unless I mess up. Which, let's be real, in this game happens a bit. Because it's not always perfect. You can have like a 20 uh, crack unit and then just have it die. I'm gonna send the submarines out. I'm gonna use these to get some scan so I know what I'm looking at in a better context. Alright, let's grab this. Let's bring the fighters right here to protect the air transport. I'm not sure we want to airlift these. Because as far as I know, they have everything here unless there's just scouts over here. Yeah, I'll air less of these. And then I'll just airlift the other ones here. seeing anything down there it's really worth it although I don't know if they have an air units plant of their own or they might have a better air force so that's why I'm thinking I might have to just airlift some of these so I'll just move the scouts over uh, south because I can just get the AWAC to do that and then still have it fly back up here to be relevant to the assault. But I don't know if there's any up there, so I'm actually going to send you up that way. And let's just get some local scan here. I don't want to rely on the AWAC. Let's get this right here. I'm going to send those two out. I don't need all of them guarding. I'll just put that one right there. They have enough range to cover all this. Your turn. All right, yeah, standard seven knights turrets. Eighteen, nine, slightly cheaper. Oh. Okay. I don't think there'll be anything on here, but it doesn't hurt to check. Just 
move those guys forward. And we have some of these submarines hook into the this little bay right here. And then I'll have an AWAC from down here, see if there's any other, other angles I can get to. Alright, now that one's good, I might just send this one up here. Alright, that won't take too long. I mean, I can just airlift it out, actually, but let's do that then. So, for, I guess, standard little mission-wise, this kind of operates in sort of a normal fashion, you know. Alright, they do have a navy. You know, gotta destroy the ecosphere within a certain time limit type thing, so. Let's. So they do have the Air Force present. That's what I figured they would have. But they do have. I'm going to assume they have Corvettes. Possibly. So, I mean, if they have all that, then. That's what I can use scouts for. Uh, just kind of. Harass the uh, escorts. Because they'll be able to see, but they won't be able to get to me at all. So I could even put one right here. And then put one right there. I think it's just this, maybe. Not seeing anything else anywhere else. I think this is a pretty solid map. You could tell where pretty much all the players would go. But. Okay, so I can't get in. Uh, I messed that one up. Hopefully they might have seen my video on Planes from Hell, or my practice run, about why you gotta be really careful with escorts. Because stuff like that will happen. Alright, so they can see. It's good to know. Oh, increase scan. Yeah. I can have the AWAC scan from this side. I don't need a submarine to go that way. Besides, they had a navy. So I need to focus more on that. So we kind of built up there that. If you kind of have multiple scan elements working around the map, you don't always you don't you don't need to always uh, overlap it as much as you need to. Although that's usually fine with base defense, so you know that way you have multiple radars that can cover each other in the same area to a decent range. So you're not. 
so in case one radar gets disabled or goes down, you can still use the rest of your base to see it, or even um, other. Uh, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna say. You can still use like other scanners or radars to do it. Yeah, you know, if if one scan unit goes down in your force or base, you want to have something else that can back it up. Either scan it in so relatively the same area, but you don't want to put so much that it just, you know, kind of clogs everything. Okay. So they might have been treated. It looks pretty fortified. Which means if I can take this out, I might be able to slip in here instead of trying to go here because this looks like it completely just blocks it all off. I could take that out, but I need that taken out. And I don't see a gun turret here actually. Hold on, let me double check that in more length here. doesn't make any sense. So I have a gun turret and something else here. Alright. There's nothing there, so I actually could um, bring scouts there. Just go straight up here. Which is a good sign. because they can't get through unless they go around or have planes of their own. Alright. And I'm not seeing any missile turrets. That is a concern of mine. Because it's seven nights. So I'd expect that to be like, you know, there because that's part of the reason is that's something I know I would do oh no don't do that oh my god I hate when that happens there's that kind of bug there we go I don't think that's really going to do anything but is there mines here anyway? Or Let's actually deploy some of these out. I just want to be safe here. Wait, why does it show a scan thing now? That's confusing. Is he still spotted by another radar? Let's be. So they do have missile crawlers. What was that last message? It went really quick. Oh, okay. Enemy tank in range. Yeah, this is a really good screen to see what's happened previously. Especially when it lets you spot uh, other units. So 3246. So someone was right here, but I did lost track of it. Another Corvette. It looks like I have an opening. Let's go around here with the. There we go. Stealth units have that kind of weird thing where once they're spotted, you can move them and they'll kind of reset the stealth. Right, let's go back down there. So 
So I do need to get rid of this. So if I can disable this, I can probably take the air transport. move out this way so I'm not gonna get, you know. So that will die in four shots. Alright, so that'll work. Alright, actually, let's lock this. I need to see if there's anything else I can find. Okay, that's good. Alright, I'm gonna have to be careful about this. I'm more worried about anti air than I am about their ground forces. Because they do have openings. My problem is... Alright, so there's a research center, so it's probably up here. Now I can bring the bubble anti-air over. And then even bring this over. I wish I had an engineer. So I could just build lightning pads. Alright, so if this comes into rail, I know I have shorter range. So my next target is to try to see if I can take this down. Which means I have to take this down. Which means I have to take all that down, which... I might just need to avoid. Because I have an opening over here I can get in, but I need to get rid of that Corvette though, so I can do it. Wow, there's no missile turrets? Really am.
There we go. That can cover the air transport. Let's make a wall like I did in that second, 20 second standalone mission, which I skipped, like of all the other ones. Okay, looks like I shot, but they did- oh, because that was at an angle, I guess, or something. Wait, how- Okay, I'm not sure how that happened, but... Back away so the Corvette can't hit me. Alright, so it's just a dock. Alright, not too much anti air. Well, I could shoot this down. No, it's on land. So we'll target that, but if that gets close enough, these two can go in for the pounce. Gives me an idea. So I might just lift these. Alright, I'll bring those around. Cover this if I can. Although I doubt it. Actually, no, up this way. I'll drop it just in case. And then put you guys behind. So that way. If the fighters too come this way. I can have no problem with it. I should do these guys. I might just bring it with me anyway. But they'll kind of stay there. It's easier for that. I wonder if the Corvette might just go straight after them. No, it's gonna waste a shot. Alright. I mean, it doesn't think anyone's there. Could've gotten this lane found out, but... Alright. That means I can go in and take it out. Oh. So what I'm confused about, I see docks, depots, hangars, but I don't see... Production. So that's my target. And so my challenge is to get through all these fighters, these turrets, and all these units to get to those. And that's where I think these scouts can come in a little. I mean, a lot of their defense is for uh, mobile. I mean, I can't get it through with that missile crawler because I'll just systematically. I'll actually more methodically just take down everything I have. So. I wonder if they just had fighters. 
I'm not seeing ground attack planes. Because they still have some fighters, so I gotta be careful about that. Alright, so anything orange will get me shot. Oh, it's just out of range, but I can ex- no, oh, nevermind, it left. So I need to protect this, destroy that. Could go on the other side here. And that would take a long time, and I have a better shot doing that with an AWAC. But... Let's see, 12... Maybe. But I have infiltrators, so I think I'd be able to use those to get in quicker. But I'm going to destroy this. Get rid of any scan. Anything that was in it is dead now. Stay in the water, no Corvettes. Uh, I can get my Air Force closer, but that's about as far as I can be able to get them. And at least keep them in formation. So yeah, something like that. So I can do like this. Sentry mode, and then up that way. Oh, wait, actually, I want to. There we go, let's get the bull wine anti aircraft. May as well get you to the front line. And you too. Eight points. Alright, so we need to do a lot of disabling and stealing here. My first targets will be pretty much any anti-air guns that are relevant to my path and also getting rid of any mobile anti-aircraft. At least that's priority but not, you know, the only thing I'm allowed to do. I wonder if anything on this site's disconnected. No, it looks like it's connected up there. And then I gotta also at the same time try to steal these. 
So mostly just these focus, I mean, these will automatically focus fire on them anyway, but I need these to help steal some of these tanks and whatever. And assault guns to try to clear out the rest. Or at least just get rid of the anti-aircraft guns and the mobile anti-aircraft. And then I might try to see if I can get this disabled, because if I can, I can probably just run a, because I know there's a fighter down here somewhere. I can run a uh, ground attack plane in there and just get that destroyed. So I might have to make a little pit stop right here. They have a radar right there. So my question is how are they... They can see me I think, right? Yeah, they can see me. That's weird on the AI part right there. They can see me, but they're still blindly running into me. Yeah, I'll actually take two submarines and space out here. Uh, one might have to go, I mean, I already know it's down here, so I might just take the submarine up that way. I think it's a roughly equal amount of time. Alright, just go over there. Alright, yeah, you go that way, I guess. So let's take out these connectors. They don't. I want as little scan as I have possible to try to. Because I might want this concrete block destroyed, so I can get an infiltrator in there. So let's actually move up, and I'm gonna have you move that way. So right there. Yeah, I'm pretty locked for what options I have. Yeah, I can't move a plane in there at all. And the scouts will just get destroyed. we won't get with these subs. Actually, no, let's save this. Uh. Did I just reset the music track? I'm just gonna have you enter back in. Cool. I mean, if I had built a bit more balls, yeah, I could use the air transport and just airlift stolen units out. But I can't really do that. Because these will just gun me down anyway, so. I can't really do much of this tank before it dies, so I may as well try to shoot something here. Oh wait, I can do this. Actually, yeah, you take that out. And the next two shots will do that. We do that. I wonder if they're respacing their military out. Because this is the most direct route, but it's also going to be the hardest because I have to get all the infiltrators in to steal stuff. any fighters for a good deal. So let's move you in.
So that's one less AA gun I have to deal with. Which is always a good thing. I mean, I could actually break this, too. And now I can just have infiltrators go freely in and out, but that's not... I can... It'll be easier to let block themselves in. Because, I mean, they'll send out and they'll crush these, and I kind of want these to make sure I get rid of the fighters first. Otherwise, I can just tell the scouts to run away and they can't do much about it. But I do need some kind of distraction point here. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to break this. And then see what they do. Because I've got a good feeling they're going to try to run through there. with these units and try to take out my land units. Which means I might actually move a lot of them away. And then I can use the ground attack plane to kill most of them while the fighters come and then that way I have much easier access to kill these. So I should turn that down again. So that is of land, because I also have an air transport, so I can just lift these right up in case anything goes wrong. Of course, tanks been destroyed, no problem. Okay, yes, they are starting to come through. I mean, it's just one unit, but I think they might send more. Because they do not have AA coverage over this area. That? Oh, nothing, just more units, I think. Yeah, enemy tank, enemy tank, enemy tank. Wait, I can even send... Yep, poor opposition assault guns can easily be destroyed by scouts with enough speed. Uh, that's kind of why I like. That's kind of why I initially had. Uh, I thought there was an issue when I played uh, Fast and Furious, with the scouts having so much speed, but then realizing how it's so easy for them to dart back in and out, and your enemies can't do anything about that when you follow it up with your assault gun attacks. Okay, so I'm going to send some of my infiltrators this way, so I want to do something like that, and then go this way. Because I'm not seeing any training halls, which is great. But my only other problem is stealth, because, you know, infiltrators do need the... Um, I might actually just leave this one right here, or just get another one to take its place. And I say that because these units can't go on the coast. So that means my infl some of the infiltrators just sit on the coast. And I don't have to worry about getting detected unless I mess up. So let's actually get an infiltrator like an average one. A good way to check coastal tiles is to see if the mobile anti-air can go on them. Or like any unit that can't go on coastal uh, tiles here. So yes, yes, because that's about half, it's less than half. Like usually I found a good way to determine ranges and movement for certain units is if it's more than half. Then usually you're allowed to do that. Action, whatever it is. Range. Uh, seeing them even with scan is another good one. Alright, I have a s something right here, so let's... Alright, good. Disabled. Move on here. Right there, actually. They can't get you there.
Actually, hold on. Can you? I need to double check that tile. Very good. Just sit him right there. Alright, so none of their units have come through yet. Which is good. I can just disable these gun turrets as much as they want. And I figured if I could, I'm just going to use this for bait. And if I could also disable pretty much most of these. Because that's still my AA range. Something I kind of do wish to limit a lot. And I'm going to have to do it. I mean, this I'm not too worried about. Although, if I don't get rid of one of these or these, it really cramps all my units to this particular area. And we already know there's an AA gun right there. Alright, so I'm here. If you want to use this as a walkthrough to do it yourself, that's fine. I mean, as far as I know, most of my videos already go into the... What is it? Common Creative License or whatever it is. Unable to disable it. Disabled. Unable to disable. No. Alright, you try to disable it this time. So that's all disabled. Let's bring the AWAC up over to check. Is there nothing up here? It's just empty. I think they put more effort into arming the south side than they did this side. Because it's just like there's a few gun turrets. I can move my air force up here a bit. But let's not risk that. So there's, so now I'm just, I think I'm only just worried about this AA gun specifically right here. And this is just enough on the land to where I can't get to it. Which means I gotta send someone over around to do it. traders as it gets along but there's just so much clutter here that's the I feel like that's the main challenge is sorting this clutter out all right good disabling turrets Okay, so I don't think they have fighters, because none of them came over to investigate. Which is good. I think my Air Force is definitely a bit more free. Alright, so you can't really do much, but let's bring you guys up. I'm not sure what I really need with the air transport now. And the scouts. I figured I'd use them as bait, but... Who minds? Looks like they still have escorts, though. So. Which is not a good thing, but... It's not really gonna bother me at this point. Even if it comes around, by the time it gets here, I can just shoot it with scouts or even subs. Alright, so... 
Hearts. Let's enter in and go to the other side. Not gonna risk that, but let's. Can I move up one space? Yes. Okay, that should work. I don't want to steal that. Okay, good. That'll work. Right there's a better position. Probably get a dragon trader with it, but let's. Ah! Alright, um. Not the end of the world, we'll figure it out. And I figured I was going to lose infiltrators anyway, that's just how the game kind of tends to work. It's the more skill you have, you know, the better chance you'll have to do it, but there's still that keyword chance. Okay, the chance is not doing very well at all. I just lost like three four triggers there, level one was plus five. Corvette range. Alright. I need to move another sub around. I don't see any connectors down here though. Because you can see two you can see one, two, three, four where my cursor is. Two buildings over here. But you don't see anything right here. I mean, yeah, I got destroyed, but... Okay, this looks like they're prepared here. Okay, they were definitely prepared. Alright, so they still have a navy. So that means I might need to move. No, that's too much scan. I can't give that up. Alright, good. Where does that bring my AA to? Good, no one spotted that. That's always a relief. I'm gonna do some infiltrator transfer. Can I? No, okay. I was wondering if I could do something like that. Just transfer one to the other. Like, you know, mid. Like, sea transport. Right, I'm just gonna send you back now. And probably this one back, too. I don't know, I actually said just all of them back. So I can send infiltrators up this way here too. Just in case I need to have an extra access point. But I want to do stuff like, you know, making sure I can get as much out as I need. I lost three infiltrators, so I'm down to nine. But their anti-aircraft presence is definitely going down. And once that goes down enough, I'll be good. This sort of reminds me of one of those tips where it says, um, if you don't have anti-air, that you'll be defeated pretty early in custom stage games. Not only just by uh, anti-aircraft, but like even air transports could come in and drop a unit. 
AWACS could see what you're doing, and then fighters could basically mean, you know, you took too long to get aircraft out. You know, you're done. So I think even from just campaign, you can learn a lot of important lessons here. Okay. Alright, there's a power station. But there's something else I need to add to the list. Send another one out this way. That's still really good range, though. Alright, so it doesn't, it's not a loss. Alright, it's not a loss when I move this out, so it's gonna do that. That's almost as much as a chance to steal it, but I want to disable it. So one was right here, but you can't. This connector's really small. I can't really see that. And there's probably one right here too. So let's check. Yes. Okay. All right. So I've at least. One, two, three. That's four AA turrets. Three mobile anti air that I need to at least deal with or have out of the way. So that I can. I can have there. Yeah, you can do that too. Just overlap multiple air units on top of each other. But I'm gonna put this one right here. Also, even if you wanted to, you could use landing pads to uh, store air units. Like you could put an air transport on the ground and have it throw three units if you don't want to risk it being in the sky. tip but yeah gun turrets are really easy to disable oh, let's put that to be careful about going out too much I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to disable clusters up here first before I go after AA turrets if I can I'm not saying that's you know entirely 100% possible but it's the best I can really do I'm going to pull all these out in force. But I can... Because I think their Corvettes are still going... Yeah, they're going to go around. But this one is helping out. I believe that they are sending the rest around to scan. Alright, good. They're all closer now, so I can just... Wait, that's pretty much all three of the mobile anti-air. Okay, almost all three. I'm no, sorry, four. I don't want to move this one up too close. Alright, good. Let's just have this one try to work on this one over here. But the fact that all three of them are pretty much right here is great. Alright, disable. Even plus five, that takes a while. 
So my best shot might just be even not even steal them. Or, you know, try to remove them entirely. Just disable them. And then... Yeah, because that just leads me to the AA turrets now. And this one's so far away, it's not going to do anything. And the gun turrets pretty much make my scouts impossible to come in, except it's cannon fodder. So, I mean, let's... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get these guys in range to do anything this turn. And stealing isn't going to be a possibility. So let's just uh, load some men. Just as a safety precaution. Because that will shoot actually next turn, so let's move. Uh, you go back. That's what? Eight? No, seven. One, two, three, four. Nope. Alright, that'll be fine. I thought it was a stable two turns. That's what that one said. I guess that one was. These ones weren't. Disable the third one that's relevant. And that is also something interesting I forgot to note for you guys right there. Sometimes when they fail to capture, usually it means the unit dies. Although sometimes it doesn't seem like that's always a thing. Because this tank can easily shoot my infiltrator right there. But wait, is it, was it entirely because it was out of movement? I wonder if that's the case. No, because there's a missile. Hmm. That might be something I need to test in the future. Does a nearby unit not having shots for the turn somehow like disable the action? Because that shouldn't be happening as much as. Um. Seems weird. I don't know, I might need to destroy these gun turrets so I can get even scouts in here. Just so I can... Alright, because there's that one. So I think this one's the most immediate threat. Also, a little of this is all connected to the... I mean, these... Just, you know, taking the connector off this won't matter, but... This... We'll disconnect all of this. Like, you could put another connector right here. It's not that hard. And they can't get through here, so I can kind of leave it there. close enough. This turret will take or start shooting, alright. So I still need to disable some more. Alright. Will. 
Wish I could even start taking this stuff down up here, but... still mysterious in so many ways. Why does AI do this and then not that stuff sometimes? Alright, that's gonna be easy to disable and I can do that. I mean, that's pretty much a be-all sign saying, hey, infiltrators are here from disabling your mining station repeatedly. So sometimes the stealth aspect can be a bit difficult with infiltrators. It's kind of like once you start infiltrating, you kind of have to commit to it. Because even if you mess up one infiltrator, they see a turret that's turned in a direction where, you know, it shouldn't be turning, especially when there's no units destroyed. And then they can just check the casualty screen and see that, oh, hey, this guy lost an infiltrator and my turret just fired. That usually means it's yours. So, at that point, they'll be like, alright, I need a training hall up. And then if the training hall gets disrupted, then I know where the infiltrators are. So stealth can be a hard thing sometimes with infiltrators. You gotta really be, um, I wanna say vigilant about it. Or, I guess just be careful. That messing up, even if it's just by chance, can tip off the enemy that you're doing this. Alright, so I have all these. Did that come on? I think I did come on. So if I get something to distract this, I can shoot that down, but... Alright, you... Disable that, please. I'm being a little more aggressive with my movement over in this area because I know I can stay over here and they won't come over here, so I don't need to worry about movement as much. But I need to leave someone there to disable that. I want to leave someone here to disable this one and that. And this simple trader seems to be trapped by landmines. Looks like it at least. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is rather annoying. <laughs> this is are stuck just because there's so many freaking landmines here. And I can't extract it unless I bring it over here and the es escorts move that turn. And then they could bring it up here and have it be relevant to what's going on. Alright, that's not going to move, so there goes the air, uh, air transport idea. Alright, good. Take out that line. Oh, man. Alright. Table turrets on the way, get more skill. Alright, good. Nice. Just leave it right there.
Alright, so disabling Ego Spheres is gonna be nice. Alright, so I disabled that, so I still need to find a way to get I need to get more people over here so I can disable both at the same time. I am getting this infiltrator up here now, so that will help out. Actually I need you over here. Just be careful. Or the open okay, so the old removal anti aircraft went this way. I don't know why, but alright, so Corvette's that way. It's good for me, I guess. So like the only land aircraft is that one down there that I can't get to, but I could destroy that when we do that in the next one right here. I'll get some way through, but that won't matter. And I can't destroy this one because I'll like, go way over here and then I'm gonna die by this and everything. So this is still powered because of this, but this is all off now, which is great. Yeah, and at this point all I have to do is just disable units and then I can just repeatedly ground attack plane the rest of the base. They sent one tank over here and they gave up on the idea, which I think is kind of funny. Are they hiding? I feel it's like, I don't know, it seems weird, but it feels like they kind of hide from the infiltrator sometimes. Two turns. I can just do. Oh yeah, you can disable a building that's not just turned off. It. I don't understand how that works. It's already disabled. But you know, there you go. Never mind. Apparently, you can fail to disable something that's already off. You lost him for life. <laughs> that's pretty much all their answer. The only entire they have is back there. So, I can walk in here now. We're total candy. It says these are research stations at. Which is what I'm doing. Alright, so just that AA gun and that, and then I could just run and ram down the whole base. So that should be the mission completed right there, everybody. I just try turning that on again. Yep. Said okay, and see if there's any more like post cutscenes, and it'll be quiet during those. Okay, now we'll just go straight to the next one. All right. So that was mission one of the campaign, Islands in the Sun. That was right. easier than I thought it was, but I guess as always, if you guys have any feedback, please let me know in the comments or messages. 
and I will see you guys next time.